Oh, there, there we go. Hi. 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 What's your name, girl? Jamie. Jamie K. Jamie. You had added me on Instagram. This is so funny because I watch your show all the time. And I'm like, one of these days, I'm going to go on here. So I'm here. <laughs> oh, we're almost at 10,000 followers on TikTok. Maybe TikTok is a mood, child. Okay. Yeah. You Jamie, have how old are you? TikTok followers, and so do you. Like, I have a lot of TikTok followers and a lot of Instagram followers. Not as many as you, but. Oh, I don't use, okay, I have this TikTok page, of course. But as we see, I'm trying to figure out the live feature. Uh, but we're going to figure it out. All right. Jamie, how old are you? I'm 40. Oh, okay. You look younger than 40. Thank you. <laughs> Where are you calling us from? Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. How old are you? You told me that. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Capricorn. Christmas Day. Capricorn, Christmas Day. Um, you have any kids? I do. I have three. How old are your three kids? So actually, two of my kids are very famous. So my oldest son is 24, and his name is YNW Melly. The rapper Melly. <laughs> And then my other son is B Slime, YNW B Slime. And then I have a daughter who is 22 and she's in nursing school. What? Are, I don't know your sons. I, should I know them? Yeah, a lot of everybody knows Melly. <laughs> everybody don't know Melly because I don't know Melly. Oh, you don't know Melly? Okay, so he has, um, he has actually a lot of platinum hits. So he has Murder on My Mind, which was one of his really big hits. Um, Butter Pecan, Mixed Personalities, he has with Kanye. Okay, there are some people that, some people know Melly, some people like me never heard of Melly. I'm <laughs> sorry. So what, but give it's me your like, kids' ages. Uh, so what 24, 22, 22, and 16 is the youngest. 16, is what, are, are one of your kids in jail? Yes, Melly's in jail. Okay, they're telling me free Melly. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay. What is he in jail for? He actually is in jail for, they charged him with murder. Oh my it's, God, what the hell? I know, he's been there, it's Broward. He's been there for five years. We had a mistrial. There's no evidence, no new nothing. He's been sick. Wait, how old, how old is your son that's in jail? He's only 24. He's been there for five so years. So he went to jail at 19 for murder? Yep. With no evidence. Yeah, so and murder. we got a mistrial. There's been a whole entire, we went through a whole trial. There was a mistrial and they still didn't give him a bond. And we're supposed to be going to trial again, but now the trial is delayed. So he's just sitting. So, but well, you said he got a song called Murder too. Murder on my mind. It's <laughs> six, let me see. Wait, seven times platinum. Well, girlfriend, I don't know if that's the... Not saying yeah. it implicates him in murder, but I'm, I'm not saying he's guilty. We're not saying we about that. We're not, not saying about that no more. Song, murder on my mind either. I know, I know. And then the way that the criminal justice system is set up now, they want to use lyrics against all these rappers. So, no child. So does it look like he's gonna get another chance? Because a murder is like life, right? I, yeah, so yeah, he's gonna get another chance. He'll be home because they don't have anything. That's why he's been sitting for so long with nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like he's just sitting in the county. Who child? Okay. Well, this yeah, is the mama. This is the mama. So, okay. Very so, high, um, do your school. kids all have the same father? No. How many men? Huh? Oh, three. <laughs> Three, have you ever been married? Yes, I was married for 15 years. Okay, and when did you get divorced? In 2020. Okay, and you're officially divorced? Oh, yeah. Okay. Been divorced. And what do you do for a living? So I am an ICU nurse, as well as I manage an artist by the name of Jay Flex, and I also manage my younger son, um, B-Slime, YNW B-Slime. So you are your ICU, your ICU nurse and a manager. Yep. Okay. And what's your, we got Capricorn. So we got Jamie, who's forty. Capricorn lives in Miami. Mom to three by three men. Was once married. Was you married to one of your children's dads? Yeah. 
Okay, she was. My 16-year-old. The 16-year-old, okay. She's an yeah. ICU nurse and also a rapper's manager. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, someone who's patient and doesn't require like a lot, a lot of time because I am busy and I work, you know, 12 hour shifts as well as I travel a lot with my younger son because he actually has a project coming out. So I'm busy a lot. I travel a lot. Um, someone who's loyal. What's that? Do you have the TV on or something in the background? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me turn the TV off. All right. Um, Jamie, listen, I know you're a proud mama. We know you're a proud mama, but a lot of cousins feel like you're just here to promote their children. So let's just focus on you and your dating life, okay? okay. My dating life sucks. Okay. <laughs> now we got the, this is a lot going on, child, with you. All right, now what kind of man you looking for? Yeah. Princess, hush. Sorry. What kind of man you looking for? Okay, so like I said, someone who's who's patient, who don't require like to need to be like underneath me every five seconds, someone who's trustworthy. Um someone that basically I'm compatible with. I love I love to laugh. That's I don't know what is wrong with my dog if someone's outside or what. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Was that it? Do you want to go to your deal breakers? Um. Let's see, deal breakers. No womanizers or narcissistic people. My ex husband was very narcissistic, and I can't. That's like someone who constantly just talks about themselves all the time. I can't. Um. You need to be financially stable. Cause I'm financially stable, so I I'm not I'm not dealing with nobody who's trying to get a free ride off of me. It ain't happening. Oh. Um, what else? Oh. Yeah, so you want a man that would have you need to have your own life established, huh? Okay, real quick. I'm now I'm bringing up your sons. You're saying you don't want a man to be with you. You said come up off of you. Is it because that of your sons? Well, that and I have my own too. I actually have a show that I executive produce that's getting ready to come out called The Real Moms of Hip Hop. So I have my own things going on as well as I do have successful children. Unfortunately, yes, Jamel is in jail or Melly, but my younger son is also signed to a major label and has a project out and everything. So yeah, we be kind of busy. Okay, I'm trying to see. They're trying to tell me how to do the side by side. Okay, let's keep going. All right. Um, what are your deal breakers? Well, you were doing your deal breakers. Yeah. So that's basically like, you know, like my deal breakers, like you need to be trustworthy. You need to have patience with, you know, they need to be patient. Um, nobody that is a narcissist. That's pretty much like my okay. real deal breaker, deal breakers. And okay. don't, don't be broke. <laughs> don't be broke. Don't be broke. What does that mean? Let's get there. Should the guy make a certain amount of money? Um, I would say at least six figures because I make over six figures that I clear on just on off of me being an ICU nurse and I'm a travel nurse at that. So yeah, definitely that. Like, I don't think so. That, over, just, just to be clear, over six figures means seven figures. So you're a millionaire. I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> no, soon. Okay, because no. because so, because I know everybody thinks six figures means a hundred k, but no. 950,000 is still six figures. So what yeah. do you mean when you say you make over six figures? I mean, they need to make over 100,000, like it's 200,000 a year, somewhere around there. Okay, so make over, so make 200K. Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, why not? All right, let's keep going. Um, should he look a certain way? No. Let me ask you this, because you work I'm, I'm like, I'm not really shallow. Like, as long as you, you know what I'm saying, you nice, you got, and got a decent personality and everything. I mean, I don't want you to be like extremely like overweight or unhealthy, because I do try to eat healthy and go to the gym and things like that. So, I mean, I want someone who tries to stay in shape. 
But so let me ask you this though: You're in the music industry, where I'm quite sure you're around producers and all that. What's do you want a committed, exclusive relationship? Um, yeah, one day. Right now, I'm just dating. I just, I mean, I've been married my whole life. Literally, I got okay, married at you got divorced four years ago. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Because I was going to say, 20, so I knew what about like, single? This is true. Because I was going to say, what about the men that you're running into in the music industry? They they genuinely probably, I'm quite sure they should make more than 200K. Mm -hmm. And most of them are married and, and, and yeah, no. So you want, that's why I'm asking you, do you want a committed, exclusive relationship? Yeah. You're saying it with uncertainty. Yes, I mean, because I need to get to know a person because people be, I mean, men be lying. I understand that you have to know a person, but what is your personal relationship goal, girl? Eventually to be back in love again and having like an exclusive relationship, someone who I can go out with and have Listen, fun. here's the deal. It's okay if this is not what you want to do right now. If you, you know, you mentioned your ICU, your ICU nurse, and you're managing your your son and another person. So you are very career busy. So if you don't want a relationship, that's fine. It's just why call me if you're not really trying to have a relationship right now. I am. I said I'm gonna come to this show to find somebody one day. Somebody might want to take me on a nice date. <laughs> Well, do you want to find yeah, somebody yeah. today? It seems like you don't really want to find somebody right now. Or you don't want to commit to a relationship right now. Yeah. I can, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm too girl. Girl. I understand your body language <laughs> and the way you responded. It's really giving you wanted to promote. I'm going to give it to you real and raw. <laughs> it's really giving you wanted to promote all that you got no, going on. No, I and not that you really want to find a man. I did. That's what I it's did. giving. I really it's giving I want to use this platform to promote all the things I got going on. Not that you're really trying to be in a relationship. And that's, I mean, if that's I'm what it is, that's what it is. I'm I'm just I do so want to go on dates. Like, I feel like I never, like, actually meet, like, decent people when I'm like at work and busy and stuff, like I never meet decent people. So, and I've been on your show and there's some nice looking people. Some people be sketchy, but sometimes they be some nice looking ones. So you do want to meet a man right now and you're going to make space yeah. for that. I'm going to make okay. space, I'm going to respond. <laughs> All right, let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh. Kendra Cam is when you stand up and we see your full body. You definitely in great shape. Well, you look small. We can't see you. Okay, you look small. You look okay. Okay. All right, Jamie, short. correct? Yeah. Huh? I said I'm very short. I'm only 5'2". Five 5'2". Two. Five two. Um, yeah. Jamie, when was your last relationship? Mm, probably three years ago. So like after, like right after my divorce. It lasted like six months. My bad, my bad, my bad. I went on for a second. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm not answering that. <laughs> okay. Three flaws you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. Mm. Time management. I'm terrible time with time management. management. I'm terrible with time okay. management. Um, okay. And one of my biggest flaws is probably like I get I get distance when I got too much going on. I don't let people in, and I just kind of like distance myself, so things kind of fall apart. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I mean. I'm fun. I'm a great cook. That's one thing. I love to cook. I'm a great cook. I'm a great mom. Um, I like to travel. So I'll be ready to go traveling. And I mean, I'm very supportive. I love to support people with whatever dreams they got going. I'm a great listener too. All right, real quick. Why did you get a divorce again? He forgot to tell his girlfriend that he had a wife and they had a baby. Well, how did he forget to tell his girlfriend that he had a wife? You was a secret? 
I just always say that as a joke <laughs> because yeah, I, I didn't plan on getting a divorce. I was married 15 years, but I refused, so when did you to, I, I refused to accept an outside baby. I just, I, some people can do it. Me, I just couldn't do it. No, I understand that. So how did you find out another life. How'd you find out that she was pregnant? Huh? How'd you find out that he had your husband had a girl pregnant? Oh, he told me. Um, I think when she was like about to have the baby. Or was it baby? Yeah. Like she was about to have the baby and then he told me. So it was okay. like I didn't really have a chance to like even digest it. And then the baby was probably born like not even three or four days later. Oh, that's why he told you. Yeah. So the, and you had no idea that this girl was pregnant for nine months. Did you have an idea that he was cheating? Oh, yeah. We was in marriage counseling. So you knew he was cheating. Yep. Well, I knew he had cheated. So he claimed. So, yeah. But you didn't know he had a baby on the way while you were in marriage counseling. No. Oh, I'm sorry you went through that. That's terrible. It was a deal breaker. Like, no, I, I mean, I, I get it. I'm sorry you went through that, to be honest. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I, I answered that. <laughs> oh, I did? Okay, then we're at the end. What's the age range you would date? You're 40. So, 30, 35 to 60. 35 to 60. Let's do it. We got Jamie, 40, who's a Capricorn, Miami, Florida. Um, she's an ICU nurse, has mom to three kids um, by three different men. She was married before. And how could the guy reach out to you again? Um, so my Instagram is Jamie, K-J-M-I-E-K underscore Y-N-W. And then my TikTok is Jamie King underscore Y-N-W. And... Uh, that's pretty much it. I think I have Facebook, but I don't really be on it because Facebook is so toxic. Just give the one that you're gonna be. Just give the one that you're gonna check. I'll check my Instagram. You check your Instagram. And what's the Instagram name again? J A M I E K underscore Y N W. Okay, baby girl, keep me posted how it goes, y'all. I mean, baby. <laughs> Bye, boo. Bye.